hanging out with Chelsita. Yes. And I wanted to uh, in New York. I was like, oh, if you guys want to know the story on how we met, we should save it for another stream. That's this stream. Chelsea doesn't really get the streaming life. You know what I'm saying? She's very Omega lol and like resident sleeper sometimes when it comes to streaming. You know? Oh, Omega lol. Yeah, you're like Pog Champ when it comes to. You're like, oh. you're like very poggers, you know? I feel like I've said it before. I just haven't really like talked about it, talked mm -hmm. about it. So first and foremost, this is Chelsea. This is my girlfriend for how many years now? Like less than a year. Uh, what the fuck? What kind of timeline are you on? This is okay. This is a Chelsea from a different dimension. The one I'm thinking of is uh, we've been together for like five years. Okay, well, we had a... There was, some, there was some, something that happened back in 20. Yeah, like something happened. So I'm just... I'm saying like less than a year because that's when we got back together, right? Yeah, true. But I've known her, so I think we'll leave the other stories for another time. We gotta stick to strictly how we met. Yeah. Basically, we've been together for five years. Yeah. Long story short, okay, I met you at your 21st... First birthday? Mm-hmm. Your first birthday party. So wait, how old are you now? 29. So I met you eight years ago? All right, so I met her eight years ago. It was my birthday party, but obviously I was blacked out drunk because it was my 21st. And I was living... With my ex-boyfriend at the time. I wasn't memorable. And he also had a girl. He was in a relationship at the time. I was in a relationship. So I guess I met him, but I don't remember. That was the first time we met officially. That's when I remember meeting you. How uh, about, when's the first time you remember meeting me? The first time I remember meeting you was at Awesomeness TV. When you guys filmed the paintball. <laughs> yeah. I remember that. I remember you were wearing red sweater. Mm, like a windbreaker? No. It was a sweater. I mean, the proof is online. I gotta look that it's, shit up. Yeah, it's a windbreaker. Chat, let's look this shit up right now. Is it in theirs? It might have been. Oh, dude, freaking whatever, bro. Whatever. It was a red sweater, though. It was like it a, was a windbreaker. Oh, a red windbreaker. Okay. It was a random windbreaker that I found in the car that drove us to oh. Awesomeness TV. She fell in love with me there, and then that's all it? No, no, no. That's not how it happened. Oh, well, yeah, it is a windbreaker. I see it right here. Yeah. All right, chat. Here I we... was not supposed to be in that video, you guys. She's in the very back. I don't know if y'all see. Right there. She's the one giving us the scores. I'm right there. I, we were, we're the only two wearing red. It was meant to be. <laughs> we're the only two wearing red. Not even her own okay. boyfriend at the time was wearing red. Okay. Oh. So I went there, and my boyfriend's like, just stay, watch the watch the, the video. And I was like, sure. So I was just sitting there, like, watching. And then all of a sudden, they're like, hey, Chelsea, can you read the scores? And I was like... Mm, sure. And so I got up and read the scores, and I ended up in that video. That was the first time I remember meeting you. But you were just like so nice. And then I, the second time I remember seeing you was it was the Janossians movie premiere, and there was a red carpet event, and you and I were kind of like walking like this behind the red carpet, and and we remembered each other, and you were like you, you were like oh hey like good to see you, and you like gave me a hug, and you're like oh you look beautiful, and I was like. I was like, oh my god, thank you. And I just thought, like, you were so nice. I like, fucking was. No, you guys, compared no, no. to Kian, though, because, like, obviously they were, like, a, a duo. <laughs> and I, and Kian was, like, never, he never said hi, which is whatever, right? But, like, he always said hi, and, like, he was really nice. And so I always remember, and I was like, oh my god, JC's so nice. It was never, like, like, weird. It was all a big part of my master plan. <laughs> that was the second time I remember, like, seeing you and meeting you. I think you started following me on Instagram, like, mm -hmm. maybe the following year, like, in 2017 or 2016. You followed me for, like, a whole year, and then I, like, followed you back at some point. And then JC, or Bo and I broke up. And then I invited you to my birthday. I was, like, going through my following list, and I was like, oh, I'll invite JC, because, like, why not? You were like, oh, I'll be in Texas for my little sister's quinceañera. Um, but... Like, Should I remember that? That's crazy. You were vlogging a lot. Mm -hmm. And then you were like, but, like, have a good birthday. And I was like, okay. And that was, like, my 24th birthday party. So that was, like, four years after we met. And then you invited me to your Christmas party later that month. And I couldn't go. I think we made a joke where it's like, oh, my God, it's like a cat and mouse game. I used, no. I started putting cat em emojis. On my Instagram photos. And you would put the mouse. Uh -huh. But, okay, well, I will say, you kind of skipped over this part, but... She's the one that slid into my DMs. Yeah, no, I said it. Oh, oh, you did? Oh. My birthday invite wasn't the first DM that I sent you? No, it was, it was, uh... Chad, do you remember that song that goes, uh... That girl is a real crowd please. Uh, and then, like, everyone on social media was like... <laughs> I did that challenge with Wishbone. Shout out Wishbone, my boy. 
He's in dog heaven right now. Uh, I put a fucking like jacket on him and he would stand still because he didn't know what to do. So I was like, oh my God, it's like the mannequin challenge. He was frozen. He was frozen doing the mannequin challenge. It was so funny. Oh, I got so much engagement. And one of the engagement uh, was her. AKA, uh, he got so many girls replying. No, no, that's not what I meant. I'm kidding. I'm joking. And so probably though, but I don't know. It doesn't matter. Anyway, you're, you stuck out the most. And uh, yeah, so she slid in my DMs. She was like, oh my God, that's so funny. Like I have a dog as well. I'm like, I did not say that. Oh, you said something like that? No, I said, oh my god, that's so funny. I didn't unsolicitedly was like, oh, I have a dog too. We have so much in common. Yeah, we have so much in common. Let's have a puppy date. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was also filming for K&J Vlogs at the time. I think that's where the video, I don't I don't remember. I You can kind of like put together like the puzzle here. But. And then we finally hung out for the first time. And we always fight about this. December 22nd. Going into 23rd, right? It was like midnight. It was like late 22nd. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I used to be a smooth criminal. What happened? Now you play Fortnite all day? I don't have to press anyone anymore. <sighs> you still impress me. I impress everyone my Fort my Fortnite skills now. I was like the Rizzler. I don't know what Rizzler means, but you were like... You were. That's actually a great description of what you were. I was a Rizzler. Yeah, I You were were. Wait, why'd you say were? I am. Oh, no, I mean... No, you still are. Am I the Rizzler? I don't know what that is. My Rizzle Town 3000? Oh, Riz, Riz. I know what Riz means. What? You got game. I got Riz! Bebe. Bebe, please don't turn into a boomer. <laughs> what? You almost didn't know what Rizzle Town meant. Rizzle Town. Okay, I've heard Riz, but Rizzle Town. I'll come write that one up, but it's okay. I met her, I was like, okay, I want to do something special for her. And so I asked her her favorite drink. Okay, I just have to let you guys know. That night, he hit me up at like... At like 9 p.m. We had been trying to hang out. We were like, hey, um, do you want to hang out? And I was like, I was like, sure. I was smoking hookah at like a local place. And I was with my friend Kiana and I was like, oh my God, JC is asking me to hang out. And you asked me, you're like, wait, what, like, what do you like to drink? And I was like, Sprite and what was it? Ciroc. Ciroc. Chat, by the way, I fucking see what you are writing. I don't give off mid vibes. <laughs> one. And two, where's the other one I saw? <laughs> it wasn't a booty call. Okay. No, it was not, no, trust me, it was not a booty call because I thought it, what, it, it could have been. And I didn't hit her up at nine and be like, hey, what are you doing? No, girl? we had been it, texting that earlier the day, but yeah. you were busy filming, um. KJ Glock. I skateboarded to the, uh. Liquor store. Liquor store. And then, um, I packed the backpack. I took, uh, blankets and. Pillows. Pillows. Up on the roof of my apartment building. This is back when I that lived in Hollywood. That overlooked the city. So I kind of planned for that. I climbed the ladder and everything. When she got there, she so I, I texted her. I was like, come over. I have a surprise for you. This so that's the first time we actually hung out. She came over. She's like, oh my God, this is a booty call. I can't wait. Well, didn't give it to her. Whatever. I was like, you I did not. I was like, all right, look. I got a surprise for you. Follow me. And then we go. We climb the ladder. I open up the latch. And we have to climb out the latch. Did the alarm go off or no? No, then, yeah. I thought the alarm went off. I was like, oh, I'm a bad boy. <laughs> we climbed another ladder on top of this other building. And then that's when like the blankets were set out with the pillows. It was so cute. Um, with like, and I surprised her, dude. Two cups, two red solo cups, and Ciroc and Sprite. We talked for hours until my phone died till like twelve or one a.m. We kind of rushed the hangout because he was leaving to Texas for like two weeks. He was like, I just have to see this girl. Like, oh. just plan this out before I go to Texas for two weeks. And then, whatever. Yeah, and then sorry. And then um, we came back yeah, down. To my apartment, and I was like, I had a really good time with you. Now, you gotta leave, type shit. Yeah, and I was like, in my head, I was like, so no kiss? No kiss, no nothing, right? <laughs> Kept her wanting more, you know what I'm saying, chat? Yeah, no head either, so no head. And um, so she left, and she was like, oh my god, that was probably the best day I've ever been on. I was like, yeah, I know, and it's your first, so look forward to more of that shit. Went to Texas, she missed me, and then we hung out again after when we came back. The second time I saw you is when you did that the hot pepper. Challenge. I did a vlog where I did five ghost peppers. That was the day where we had our second date. Yeah, I guess so. Second date. Well, it wasn't a date. I don't know why I thought it was we Thursday. just hung out. That was our the the night with the first kiss. And that was actually the night you stayed over. But that was it. That was it, right? Yeah. I would leave the room so many times, and there was times where I would just sit on the toilet and like hold my stomach, and I was like, damn, I want to just shit this out, but I can't. And so I'd come back in, and I was like, and so I'd leave, leave, come back in. After a while, I was like, damn, she probably thinks I'm fucking weird, or I have like a weird stomach problem. I did a little bit. I, li I thought you were a little weird, not gonna lie. And then there was another time I left, and instead of going to the toilet, I just sat at the stairs. I was like, That's fuck. so sad. I just sat on the stairs, and I, I was like. I you could have told me. And I was like, fuck, I might have to drive myself to the hospital and, and like, ruin the night. And I think that's when I told you. And then you understood. Yeah, and I, was, I still was like, 
oh my god, do you need me to leave? And you were like, no. <laughs> like, someone's just like having like a diarrhea attack. If the roles were reversed, I'd be like, bruh. Diarrhea They're attack for right now. <laughs> You're like, ah. I just had diarrhea like four times, five times. I'd be like, oh. and then the next morning you had to go film. What's that show that y'all were filming? Haters. Haters. You had to leave really early, and you were like, like you can just leave whenever you wake up. And I got up, took a photo of your cat Vega, made your bed, went home, and later that night when you got home, you texted me. You were like. You're so cute. Thanks for making my bed. Dude, no. No, can I tell you something? <laughs> Keep this shit to yourself. Don't spread this shit around. This recent too. She got up to go pee or something in the restroom. And I'm like, okay, she's away. I'm gonna like let one loose real quick. <laughs> so I let one loose, but in, but like she came out right, like I couldn't air it out. You know what I'm saying? So I let one loose underneath the thing and she came out of the bathroom and I was like, oh, fuck. and it was so, I was laughing my fucking ass off because you got back in bed and you covered your entire self <laughs> and you cuddled me and I was like, oh my fucking goodness. There's no way she doesn't smell that shit. And you didn't say anything, you fucking sleep. Oh, I fucking crop dusted her. What the fuck, you just let me do that? <laughs> she just, it knocked her out, she's like. <laughs> <laughs> Why we look like this right now is because we just got done with a hike. Yeah. So my hair's a little messy. I'm about to appear on Danny's stream right now, looking like this, bruh. All right, Um. well I have to be there in 30 minutes, so we should probably get a move on.